Hey you guys, and welcome to the uh, third episode of my playthrough of uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake on uh, PlayStation 4. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the last episode, I, it got cut up into two halves, but hopefully I'll be able to make a whole hour episode on this one. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to it. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Do I actually have to watch out for live wires? Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Got to do something about that. Mm. Soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. How much farther do we have to go? Not far. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents are safe. No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fees. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh? Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home!
We'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then! Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it. Once we're back at base. to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it, for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <laughs> Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Okay, so we've got some free rain. Okay, what? Are there any trains going through the slums? What if the trains have stopped? I have to get them. Hmm. What the hell are these? We have to the station. Then you take the train to your system. Ooh, grenades. Sephiroth. Is 
he really there? You're not real. You're... dead. I am. I killed you with my own... <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown burns so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Yeah! Yeah! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. Just an illusion. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. Expressway. You are advised to vacate the area immediately. 
The explosions at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Many homes are at risk. It is not safe to remain indoors. Please leave your residences at once. Man, what a mess. I repeat. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. An evacuation order has been issued to the occupants of the building in the vicinity of the Sector 18 front plane. Do what you like. Taking the kids to safety. Yeah. Stay together. Yeah. I don't want to leave without you. Me too. Me too. Let the intruder escape. Where's the mayor when we need him? Do I have to fight him? You are too weak to save anyone. <laughs> Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <laughs> Help me! What's this? Evacuation order 
Guys! Let him escape! 
Let's move on. Over there. Whoa. With fire, shoot to kill. Hey. Close call. Be advised. Target approaching residential area. Seal hole active immediately! Target sighted! Get him! It's all or nothing now. Get the bastard! 
okay.
Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. You think he's a keeper? up to huh <laughs> giving public security the runaround that's what had to draw them away from the station somehow nicely done well can't argue with results huh <clears throat> what <sighs> hmm. wait got a question for you all what ever been attacked by an invisible enemy uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up.
A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? This Lucky us. From We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Mako Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Maybe the freight car starts so bad. Other reactors were hit as well. Stop that right so now! Should have gone to sector three instead. Hey, got a sec? Should have never gotten out of bed this morning. Just called in sick. The fire was really big. I can't wait to step foot on this. Maybe did it as payback? I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb yeah. I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have failsafes to prevent that kind of thing? You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. No. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <gasps> out your ass. <sighs> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. <clears throat> Just... Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> Them's fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? <laughs> we should go. Right. Time <laughs> 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 for a little nap. I didn't hear anything. You gotta believe me. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. Get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level, atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. 
Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, ah. right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Not long now. <laughs> I think I've got some time to return to the base before I quit this episode. Uh, let's see what's over here. It doesn't look like anything much. I'm going on a huh? How about it, baby girl? Mm. Train service? <laughs> How about some super? I think he's over by the TVs. <clears throat> no words can describe Ooh, how kind of the plane works. Don't play the <sighs> Like a giant candle oh, light in the up like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ashes. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. Huh? You don't want to mess with the monsters in here. Move along now. Hmm. Okay. 
guess I'm not ready for them yet. Public security should know who did it. So. Um, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? No, sir. remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh... Hey! What uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering Daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Eggs and chips? Okay. Didn't know those go together. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise crazy. I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. <laughs> So, you make nice with everyone? As much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll What's spread whatever lies Shinra us? tells him to. How will this affect so, us? It wasn't that bad? It was. 
Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. I see what they mean about the doors in this game. Doors Where's look like room? crap. 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. That door, oh my god. <sighs> Oh, it looks like a, it's out of a PS2 game. <laughs> Guess it's time for introductions. All right, uh, we're going to leave the introductions with the noisy neighbors for the next episode. Uh, since it's been just about an hour. All right. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you liked it, please rate, favorite, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't like it, please hit that dislike button. And uh, once again, thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>